Hello friends subscribe to our channel GDC and press the bell icon for more updates. Welcome to the channel. So today in this video we are going to cover some questions for your railway pharmacist exam with brief explanation. So here we have a first question is which enzyme is used for joining of DNA strand and the options are option A is lyase, option B is ligase, option C is guidase, option D is none. So which enzyme is used for the joining of DNA strand and the correct answer is ligase. Ligase is the enzyme that is used for the joining of DNA strand. So let's discuss with the help of explanation that it is a specific type of enzyme a ligase that facilitate the joining of DNA strands together by catalyzing the formation of phosphodiester bond means it facilitates the joining of DNA strands by formation of phosphodiester bond and it plays a role in repairing single strand breaks and breaks in duplex DNA and DNA ligase is used in both DNA repair and DNA replication and in addition DNA ligase has extensive use in molecular biology laboratories for recombinant DNA experiments. So here we have a just uh, a pictorial diagram or representation which shows the role of DNA ligase. Students here we have a just uh, it shows the joining of DNA strands. So here, this is an enzyme DNA ligase. So moving on the next question, which of the following parenteral container material shows the highest gas permeation? And the options are option A is polypropylene, option B is polystyrene, option C is polyethylene, option D is neoprene so which of the following parenteral container material shows the highest gas permeation and the correct answer is polystyrene is the material which shows the highest gas permeation so here we have just explanation on this polypropylene is suitable for biobial boilable uh, boilable uh, package for sterilization products brittle at low temperature where polystyrene highest gas and water vapor permeation used for dry products only which is asked in the question and polyethylene is it is susceptible to oxidative degradation during processing where neoprene is rubber stopper is made from actually rubber stopper is made up of from neoprene so it's all about this question moving on the next question kaolin is chemically options are option a is hydrated magnesium silicate option b is hydrated aluminium silicate option c is hydrated calcium silicate option d is hydrated magnesium silicate sulfate so kaolin is chemically hydrated aluminium silicate so kaolin actually it is the most important clay material to improve surface smoothness for better print quality and clay materials are natural earthy pine grain and plate like material and the terms clay and kaolin are used interchangeably chemically clays are hydrous aluminium silicates with an approximate composition of Al2O3 and 2SiO2 2H2O2 2H2O. At least 12 different classes of clays are available which can be supplied in either a dry powder or in a dispersed slurry water solution. So moving on the next question. A series is given with one term missing. So choose the correct alternative from the given ones that will complete the series. Here we have options are option A is DMV, option B is MVE, option C is OUA option D is QZI. So, according to this series, the missing one is option B MVE. 
so let's discuss that there are plus six plus six plus six pattern flow uh, pattern follow in this uh, so according to this option b is correct answer moving on the next question the inverse agonist of benzodiazepine is option a is bicosoline option b is mucimol option c is flumazenil option d is none of the above so the inverse agonist of benzodiazepine is none of these here we have just uh, explanation on this of this question that bicosiline a competitive antagonist of GABA receptor where is mucimol agonist of GABA flumazenil specific of benzodiazepine antagonist and carbolin is inverse agonist students this is the missing one in that question so carbonyl is in a inverse agonist so moving on the next question taxol is an example of option a is monoterpenoids option b is sesquiterpenoids option c is diterpenoids option d is carotenoids so taxol is an example of diterpenoids so here we have just a uh, table of this uh, that uh, the here terpenoids are given First is monoterpenoids, sesquiterpenoids, diterpenoids, and carotenoids. So, monoterpenoids examples are limonene, cineol, alpha pinene. Sesquiterpenoids are sandalwood, or oil, clove, or arnica, where diterpenoids are Texas coleus, carotenoids are lutein, and cryptoxanthin and zeaxanthins. So, these are the examples, students. Just write down in your notebook because sometimes the question may also ask from these types of. Coach, uh, these types of topics going on the next question on which day is the world alzheimer day observed and the options are option a is 19th september option b is 20th september option c is 21st september option d is 22 second september so the correct answer is 21st september so here we have a just explanation on this that world's alzheimer day september on september 21st of each year is a day on which alzheimer's organization around the world concentrate their efforts on raising awareness about alzheimer and it dementia so 21st september was the alzheimer day next question is which one of these is used in organophosphorus poisoning and the options are option a is 2 p.m. Option B is physostigmine. Option C is triexifenadyl. Option D is oxyphenonium. So which which one of these is used in organophosphorus poisoning? And the correct answer is 2 p.m. Let's discuss with the help of explanation that pralidoxim, that is 2 pyridine, allodoxim, methyl chloride, or 2 p.m. 2 pump typically used in cases of organophosphorus po organophosphate poisoning which causes acetylcholinesterase inhibition attaches to the site whereas cholinesterase inhibitor has attached then attaches to the inhibitor and removing the organophosphates from cholinesterase allowing it to work normally again so the correct answer is 2 pam moving on the next question which of the following occurs in cell cytoplasm and the options are option a is citric acid cycle option b is urea cycle option c is embedded in merio mayor of pathway option d is oxidative phosphorylation so which of the following occurs in cell cytoplasm and the correct answer is embedded in mayor of pathway occurs in cell cytoplasm here we have just explanation on this that glycolysis is a metabolic pathway that converts glucose into pyruvate and the free energy released in this process is used to form the high energy molecules that is ATP and NADH. Glycolysis is a sequence of enzymic, enzyme catalyzed reactions. In most organisms, glycolysis occurs in the cytosol and the most common type of glycolysis is the embedded mayor of Parnas, that is EMP pathway, which was discovered by Gustav uh, and Otto and Jacob Carol Parnas.
discuss with the help of schematic diagram here we have a just a crab cycle which shows the uh, formation of glucose uh, uh, glu uh, conversion of glucose into pyruvate pyruvate acid uh, this is the whole crab cycle students just uh, and it occurs in the cytosols this is the cytosol so moving on the next question Vanillin is an example of and the options are option A is aldehyde glycoside option B is alcoholic glycoside option C is resin option D is alkaloid so vanillin is an example of aldehyde glycoside so here we have just explanation that uh, here just an, it's an important classification students first one is cardius active glycoside that is digitalis Strophanthus and white school, where anthraquinone glycosides are cascara, aloe, rhubarb, and cochineal and senna. C is saponin glycoside, cyanophore glycosides, isothiocyanate glycoside, lactone, aldehyde, miscellaneous glycosides. So, students, this is very important one because uh, the question may also ask from the this classification itself. So just try to note down and get revised on time. So it will help you to attempt the questions based on this topic. So moving on the next question. Endothelin antagonist used in hypertension is, and the options are option A is Herbestron, is Herbesorten, option B is Fosinopril, option C is Bosenton, option D is Silastatin. So endothelin antagonist is used in hypertension is the correct answer is bosentone endothelin antagonist used in hypertension is bosentone let's discuss with the help of explanation bosentone is a dual endothelin receptor antagonist used in the treatment of pulmonary artery hypertension that is pah and it causes harm to fetus and pregnant woman must not take it is an advice advice and women must not become pregnant while taking it and it may render hormonal contraceptives means change in the hormonal balance and uh, bosentone is a competitive antagonist of endothelin 1 at the endothelin a and endothelin b receptors under normal conditions endothelin 1 binding of et a and ETB receptors causes constrictions of the pulmonary blood vessels by blocking this interaction bosentone decreases pulmonary vascular resistance so this is all about the uh, this question moving on the next question if a mirror is placed on the line a b then which of the answer figures is the right image of the given figure and the options are here we have just figure and the option is 1, option B is 2, option C is 3, option D is 4. So which is the correct one? So according to this, the correct answer is A, that is 1. And we are talking about the explanation on this, that on the basis of above given question, we have the mirror image always be opposite. The original image across the given line and it will become opposite to the given line as shown in uh, as shown in uh, previous pictures next question is select the odd number pair of from the given alternatives and the options are is 56 uh, 56 option b is 10190 option c is uh, 4130 option d is 3322 so the odd number pair from the given alternative is 6656. How will how it is possible? So that it shows an explanation that uh, the difference, the mean difference is 10, and uh, in the rest of the there are 11 mean difference. So this is the odd one because these three are same. Moving on the next question. Which of the following is an example of peptide alkaloid? And the options are option A is reserpine, option B is lysergic acid, option C is vincristine, option D is d scopolamine. Uh, uh, sorry, scopolamine. And the 
is a the correct example of peptide alkaloid is lysergic acid here we have just explanation that reserpine is indole alkaloid where lysergic acid is peptide alkaloid vincristine is indole and scopolamine is tropane alkaloid so this is all about this question moving on to the next and last question of this video is to which of the following is the deadly respiratory disease of ug99 associated option a is paddy option b is wheat option c is barley option d is maize so the deadly rust disease is uh, is associated with wheat here we have just explanation students that ug is a ug99 is a lineage of wheat steam rust which is present in wheat fields in several countries in africa and the middle east and is predicted to be spread rapidly through these regions and possibly further afield potentially causing a wheat production disaster that would affect food security worldwide